Whoa, what is going on, football fans? Back at it with another New York Giants video. Wasn't intending to make a video today. Was, you know, meant to have this video up about an hour ago, but was eating dinner and kind of got caught up. But huge news came down in terms of the New York Giants roster today. I will be live tonight on Bad Dogs, I think at a quarter to 10. So I'm sure this will be one of the major talking points of the live stream. Of course, we'll go over the roster and some of the other decisions that the New York Giants made, but Huge bombshell uh, just came out about an hour ago that the New York Giants unexpectedly released Blake Martinez just 10 days before the start of the regular season. And I think the initial reaction by everybody, and probably still, is shock. You know, why would you do it this late in the process? And there are several uh, reasons that people are coming uh, up with on Twitter. I'm not going to flip out. I'm going to try to remain as, as calm as I possibly can. That doesn't mean that I necessarily agree with this move, but I'm going to try to at least make sense of why the New York Giants may have made this move. Uh, I don't always agree with everything that they do, but I at least try to make sense of it. Like, why would Joe Shane make, uh, make, do this this late in the process? And, you know, we'll go over all the theories and what I think ultimately is probably the most realistic of all the theories out there with, you know, as to why the New York Giants made this move. My first line of thinking was, and we're going to get further into the cap savings on this move, was this is a cap move. This is a move that's going to save the New York Giants some money. I went on Spot Track, and on Spot Track, it said that the New York Giants will save $3.5 million if they cut Blake. And I said, all right, well, at least that makes some sense, right? Due to the fact that I think we have to shed about $4.5 million or so uh, before the start of the regular season. But apparently, that's not the case. And we'll go over that throughout this video. Um, and I'm going to trust Dan Duggan on this. He's one of the better beat reporters for the New York Giants. So it's not really a cap savings move. So that leads me to believe it's a couple of things. Is it a scheme thing? Is it an injury thing? Is it that Blake Martinez is not happy uh, in the New York Giants defense? He doesn't necessarily fit it. Maybe he feels like he's not being treated right. Didn't get the captain's badge. Um, he restructured his contract earlier this offseason. Um, and maybe he was promised things that he didn't necessarily receive in the defense. I don't know. There's a lot of question marks, right? Because this linebacking core was so thin to begin with. Then you tack on the Darian Beavers injury, and suddenly now with Blake Martinez off the New York Giants football team, you're looking at a linebacking core going into the year of Micah McFadden, Tay Crowder, Carter Coughlin. Maybe they'll pick somebody up off of waivers, but obviously we're going to be scrambling at that position. We already knew that we were going to be very thin at the cornerback spot. Not to say that I expected Blake Martinez to come out like gangbusters this year. I didn't. Um, I, I matter of fact, I thought he'd probably struggle. It was encouraging to see that he was back on the practice field as quickly as he was when training camp got underway this year, being that he was coming off a significant injury the prior season. But I didn't go into this year expecting Blake Martinez to be great. As a matter of fact, I thought he'd probably struggle, especially early in the season. And I wouldn't have even been shocked if from within season, the New York Giants inevitably replaced him, especially if both their rookies were able to stay healthy to get a better look at them as the season progressed. But regardless, for such a thin position group, for a guy that was supposed to be our number one middle linebacker, I think we could all agree with that. At least yesterday we thought that, uh, unless you thought it was Tate Crowder. If not, Blake Martinez was the second linebacker. It's not like, um, you know, Mike McFadden is looking, you know, incredible in training camp. It's a little perplexing. So there may be more to this story than we know. You know, maybe there's some behind-the-scenes stuff that will come out that Blake Martinez was not happy, and the New York Giants kind of did something similar with Logan Ryan earlier in the offseason that – didn't really save us too much money. Am I going to flip out long-term about this? No, I realized that Joe Shane did not inherit Blake Martinez. I realized that Blake Martinez is not necessarily the best fit for Wink's defense. I understand all that, but then you can argue, well, why did you restructure him in the first place if you didn't think he was going to be a part of this team? But I'll wait till we hear all the details in terms of why he was released by the New York Giants and why this was the final outcome just 10 short days before the start of the regular season. We'll have to wait and see. But he was never going to be part of the long-term plans. It's why I'm kind of like, I, 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 for this year's team, I'm not thrilled. Don't don't get it twisted. I'm not happy. But it, I, I knew Blake wasn't going to be a giant after this year. And I know that Joe Shane is thinking long-term. Um, but I would really like to get the full explanation. Hopefully get that over the next couple of days. But let's go over some of the notes about this trade. I know a lot of you guys are up in arms about this. Some people are probably more understanding. Uh, you're going to see a lot of divided Giants fans on this topic. This is coming out from Field Yates. The Giants have released Blake Martinez. That was the initial bomb. Uh, they got everybody, you know, <laughs> starting to go crazy all over Twitter. This then coming out from Dan, because like I said, it was kind of, it still seems to be um, 
a lot of people don't know what's going on in terms of the cap situation. You go on spot track, it's, we save $3.5 million. You go on OTC, Giants don't save much. This is what Dan had to say. Again, I'm going to trust Dan. He's pretty good when it comes to things like this. This is not a cap move either. Since the pay cut had lowered Martinez's base salary to $1.25 million, the player taking a spot on the roster will have a cap hit of $895,000, right? Because you he was the 52nd man on the roster. The way the cap space works is the top 51 go against your salary cap. So that's only a savings of about $350,000. So they're not saving much here, right? Darius Slate, you would have saved about 1.6, 1.7 when you factored in his replacement. So you would think if you were just thinking strictly about the cap, it would have made more sense to cut Darius Slayton. You would save five times the amount, and he's the fifth wide receiver. Not to discount the importance of Darius Slayton, but you're talking about a starting middle linebacker, Blake Martinez, as opposed to a fifth wide receiver, regardless of how well he may fit the scheme or not. So in the end, if all of this is true of what Dan is saying, I'm going to trust him on his word, there's got to be more to it than just salary cap implications. There has to be. There's got to be more to it than just that. Um, and hopefully we get word, uh, you know, sooner than later. I want to give Bobby credit for this. It was initially posted by Dan, but uh, I, I saw it up on Bobby's Twitter. Bobby Skinner, of course, great channel over there. We're talking Giants. According to this, Joe Shane could have saved $2.2 million if they just cut Blake Martinez in March, which would have made sense if he's not a scheme fit, like many have said. Bad foresight by Joe Shane if this is true for a team stricken for cap space. And what Dan had to say is, and this was back in March, had the Giants just cut Martinez, they would have saved $8.5 million with $5.5 million in dead money, $3 million in savings. So they passed $2.2 million in savings to have Martinez on the roster. The reason he's saying 2.2 is he's taking into account that $800,000, I believe, that comes back on the salary cap, much like he did in the initial post. So, yeah, it's three, but it's really 2.2 because of the eight hundred dollars on the 52nd man on the roster, uh, which is obviously understandable. 2002 is the final year of the contract, so no impact on the 2023 cap. Either way, that's what Dan had to say regarding the contract initially when the New York Giants restructured it with Blake Martinez. So you're talking about two million dollars uh, they would have saved had they not brought him back in the first place. But my guess would be, if I'm trying to be as fair as I possibly can, the Giants, after the restructure, went into the offseason planning to have Blake Martinez be a part of this New York Giants roster when he was willing to take that restructure. And maybe they didn't like things that they saw. Martinez was banged up throughout camp. Maybe they feel he didn't fit the scheme, or maybe Martinez came to them and voiced displeasure. Um, and this, I think, is probably the main reason why Martinez was not given the captain's badge. There was probably, you know, things behind the scenes that the New York Giants knew that this was at least a possibility. So this was the big shocker. A lot of people, myself included, thought it would be Darius Slayton um, in terms of either being cut or traded. In the end, it was Blake Martinez, and this doesn't do a whole lot. In terms of fixing our cap, that still remains a major problem for the New York Giants going forward um, before the start of the season. They still have to shed, if what Dan has said is accurate, about another $4 million off of this cap to be able to get under the salary cap before the year starts. How they're going to do that? Probably, um, inevitably, we're going to have to uh, backload a little bit of Leonard Williams' money. But I'll leave that up to Joe Shane to make that decision. Of course, he inherited a complete cap mess. We all understand that. But I understand fans that are a little perplexed by this fans that may be upset by this um, when you lose your starting middle linebacker right before the year starts. But I have no choice as a fan and it's year one for Joe Shane. I'm going to be a man of my word. I'm going to trust the process. Not that I trust Joe Shane, but I have to at least give him an opportunity to start to build his team the way, the way that he sees fit. And like I said earlier in the video, Blake Martinez was never going to be in the plans for the New York Giants past this year. Many felt he wasn't even going to be back to begin with before the restructure after the injury. So does it hurt this year's team? Maybe a bit, um, but they must have felt he was not ready to go, They that he was not going to be a guy that fit this scheme properly or he was banged up or he was not happy being here. Best of luck to Blake. Uh, I like Blake Martinez, right? He was one of my favorite players on the defense. He had a really good year here his first year after getting him and signed him. Last year, had suffered that unfortunate injury. Always seemed to be a guy that was very active on social media with the fans uh, and was a fan favorite. So it's unfortunate before the year starts. And we'll see what the New York Giants do. I, I have to think at this point in time, maybe they call it Calitro, but, but I have to think that the Giants – are going to be scouring the market to try to bring in a middle linebacker. Cause this seems at least that it was somewhat unexpected, but maybe not due to the, you know, due to what I said about the captain badge earlier. We'll have to wait and see how it all plays out. I'll see you guys tonight on Bad Dogs channel. Giants also made a couple of interesting roster acquisitions today. I'll probably have a video on that tomorrow. 
Um, Wyatt Davis being one of them. So be on the lookout for that. As always, guys, if you like what you watch, please subscribe. Drop a comment. Maybe give me a little thumbs up. Cheers.